Hey guys, ciao. Here is the third video of the series of the Alandin sales mindset. And here we learn about the core of why rejection really hits bad and how this is working, okay? So let me say again, again, the example <clears throat> of me going to the bar and trying to ask a girl about a date or to meet her. So what's happening is that I'm with friends and I say, hey, here is, is a great woman, a very beautiful, sexy, blah, blah, blah. And then I say, hey, you know, I will go there. I will fix it. So what is happening is that my consciousness, my conscious mind is coding a word. And this word is, I want to go there. I want this girl. But what's happening is that we have the conscious and the subconscious. The subconscious is the information that have been embedded during all of our life and mostly from our childhood and had created <clears throat> like recordings, like programming, like coding inside our subconscious. And what's happening is that the opinions, the, the information that is embedded in the subconscious is projected to the conscious. So with a very short way is that 99% of what's happening, what decisions we take is in the subconscious mind. So you see, in the conscious, I said, I want to go to the girl. But finally, I got prison, frozen, and I didn't go. But why I didn't go? Because in my subconscious mind was the rejection. Will she reject me? And if she reject me, I will have pain. I will have hurting. And if I will hurt, I will feel that I'm not needed. I'm not sexy. I'm not handsome. And if I think that I'm not sexy, beautiful, handsome, I will be incompetent with other guys. And if I will be incompetent with other guys, am I adequate? And do I feel adequate of myself and to the other people? And if I don't feel adequate or worthy in front of other people, feel not I am, feel worthy, then do I know who I am? Do I know that I am Chris, a perfect guy? Like all of us, we are perfect guys. But I don't see it. I see like a trust, like a trust that doesn't deserve to go to this girl subconsciously. So the same is happening <clears throat> with sales and the marketing. When we go for the price, we are like uh, five, 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 5,000, okay? So why we stumble? We stumble because we don't believe that we deserve this 5,000. Yeah, yeah. In the consciousness, we say, yes, my program costs $5,000 for 12 weeks. And this is done. So when we, everything is well in the call, and finally, <clears throat> we are about to set the price, it's visible in our energy and the energy is not lying. Maybe in the face we can lie, but the energy is not lying and the energy is transmitted from us to the prospect and the prospect sees it and feels it subconsciously, not consciously. So then it just is not interested or just says that it doesn't have the money. But the core is that in front of him, he has a person that he's not believing that this program costs $5,000. So he understands subconsciously that if my potential client, if the person that I will invest will just not feel comfortable, not feel adequate, not feel believing for this amount, then why should I buy it? Why should I invest? Because he's not even investing in himself. He doesn't know how much he's worth. He says 5,000, but maybe it's 1,000. He says 1,000, maybe it's 300. And finally, last, last advice. <clears throat> if you feel that you worth 5,000, that's okay. But when you start selling Aether in chat or in call, you need to present the amount that you feel that is cheap. 
And why you feel that this chip is good? Because you have the complete confidence. Our target is not to go on the calls, on 20 calls, to be super busy and not to make a sale, not to help a person. But our, our job is to hop on the call or in the chat and to offer our product or service depending to how much we feel comfortable. Because if we feel comfortable, then the other person in front of us will see this comfort and he will be convinced and persuaded without, without seducing. He will just say, take it. Sometimes he will say, oh, this is cheap. I was supposing instead of 500, 800. So that's all. You need just to feel comfortable with yourself, not how much you want to charge, but to feel just comfortable with how much not you think you are, you are, but how much in front of the client you feel confidence that you are worth, because this is different. We need to build the confidence. And this is why the big closers, they have experience, they started from small and they upgraded, but never a high ticket closer when he graduated from this certificate, he was high ticket closer. He just finished from high ticket closing university, but he is not just a person that is high ticket closer. He is a low ticket closer. Okay, so this was very very nice to see you that you selected myself for taking this valuable knowledge. So thank you very much and have a great day. Ciao.